Okay guys, so it's a big day today, um, other than I just came back from Poland, <laughs> arrived today, um, but I'm taking the bike um, and the leftover bits um, over to Clint's place. Um, we're at a point now where we can put the motor together. So as you would have seen um, from the work that I've done, um, I've bought a new clutch cover um, because my one was rotted out, this magnesium, um, they're notorious, the 80s. Um, clutch covers and stuff for Honda so the new ones are alloy and you can get replacement alloy ones there's a guy in Australia I think Russell's if you, if you google Russell's clutch covers you'll get some hits and then there's stuff that you can see on Amazon which which where I got one I, I'd rather the the one from Amazon because it was black and it had um, Boson Honda or something on the side um, for those guys that are looking for water pump shafts um, there's a company in the UK called Fix Off Road. They sell a kit that comes with um, the bearings and seals. It comes with um, some gaskets, two of them, for the water pump cover. And then this is the bit that I, I wanted. It's the sh water pump shaft um, that you have to press on the um, the actual gear, but my shaft that I had um, had some notches in here um, which would have caused it to leak so um, got got this bad boy so we're going to press that on um, so yeah um, fix off-road in the UK has these so if you need need one you can get them and if you need a clutch cover you can get them so it's good to see um, places that are allowing us to keep our Hondas, Hondas alive so for um, anyone out there that's uh, trying to keep a Honda alive or if anyone out there that's got the skills that can make stuff there's a massive a lot of people that uh, would gladly look at what uh, what you can offer um, so yeah I'm taking the the rolling chassis to Clint um, I just got in from Poland today so I've been up um, a long time but I need to get this over to, to Clint so we can get the motor in. So I'll do that now. But um, yeah, we're getting closer, man. Getting closer. See the bike in the back there, and I've got all the parts and the gas tank. I'm nervous, eh? I don't want this bad boy to fall off. I never like these hit tracks. Um, but I keep an eye on it, and they do work. but getting closer to getting this bike back together can't wait man can't wait okay guys so yeah i'm here at clint's just got the bike all ready um i've take brought the the seat and the other exhaust and everything so we're gonna clint's gonna put the motor in and stuff so looking forward to it and uh bike's looking clean and it's nice it's nearly ready to be put back together so this is the motor guys did the um when you put the piston on the head was it you that before it was swapping was it really nice fit yeah it's yeah. tight tolerance like there's always going to be a little bit of spring in the uh, piston but yeah, not yeah. like before before it was way yeah. looser yeah yeah that's cool let's I think played it up all right this is awesome yeah it's and nice then, having it like for the stand you know what i mean like yeah. having this because then you can set it at different heights and stuff and so all the bearings, the new bearings came in all good and yeah. be way better than they were before. Yeah, I have all your old ones I threw yeah. in the bucket over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. But Tom, Sweet. yeah, everything went in there really good. I was pretty happy with all that. Yep. Got that new bearing here. And like this one, this is like your water pump drive, but yeah. you know, they're all good. And this yeah. is the one that spins that whole power valve, right? Yeah. Prep it good. These, come, these come up all right, eh? These yeah. new? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and those are I like, torque them to like 21 foot pounds. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Can't wait. Yeah. Um, keep you posted on this video and uh, we'll tune in soon.